You ready to fight? You ready? Good. All right, so the Sugar Show is back live and in color. Sean O'Malley trying to keep the momentum going here tonight. He has been a very fast starter inside the octagon. Let's see if that trend continues as the challenges get stiffer here tonight. Nice leg kick. All right, good start for the Sugar Show. Sean O'Malley realizing particular success with that left hand. Yeah, he's got a great left hand. He's so long for the weight that he pops the jab and he starts him with the left hand. And you see it on full display right now. Oh, O'Malley getting work from the top here. These ground and pound strikes very effective. Let's see if he tries to work his way back to his feet. All right, trying to pass here. As Global Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. O'Malley gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. And there's that jab. Oh, you land, I land, is how we're doing here. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Unable to land with that punch. Wow, nice slip and an even better rip. Blocks the shot. O'Malley gets caught by that straight punch there. He's got to throw that kick behind those punches. Always busy here in the clinch. Lands a nice punch there. This striker has come out swinging, and he's a very aggressive guy, but you got to be careful, I would think, to not overextend yourself. Yeah, you would think you got to slow down, but not this guy. This guy knows that he can secure finishes on the feet or if he gets taken down to his back. But ideally for him, he wants to be knocking the guys out. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Nice punch to the head. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Oh, beautiful technique on that straight punch. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Nice jab down his alley. Oh, I guess the takedown late in the round here. That's a way to leave an impression on the judges. And big picture, I think, could set him up for future success in the next one. Take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's Second round underway. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, the sugar show. Sean O'Malley lands the left hand yet again. He's about as accurate with that thing as anybody in this division. I think that's what's most impressive about sugar Sean O'Malley is even though he's still young in his career, he has a patience and a calmness about himself in there that not many people possess. And that left hand can only land because he doesn't show you anything as he gets ready to throw. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by O'Malley. Leading now, nasty cut on his nose. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Beautiful jab land. Man, 
it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Big kick lands. Oh! Oh, body shot. Well, without much resistance, he continues to find a home for that jab, much like he did in the previous round. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Oh, good block there. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Now, he should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the return. Oh, no! Allie's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps, there on the bridge. Nice left hand. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking. Oh! oh! Beautiful combination to get the knockdown. Oh, big diving punch lands up top. Well, you thought the cut man did his job, but that cut on the nose was just nasty, and it is pouring blood now. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but... At this point, you just gotta find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get excited and you want to finish because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, and on round two. All right, we're gonna stay with him and follow him back to the corner to the stool because that is a really severe cut that he is dealing with. We'll see if the cut man can stem the bleeding here. All right, so as the cut man gets to work, we'll re -rack. You ready to fight? You ready? Here we go. Five minutes remain in the fight. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that off him. Man. He's hurt bad. most of them upstairs, and when those big shots land repeatedly, the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 58 seconds of round number 3. Declared the winner by TKO, Fechon Chavon!